selective use people who use the NHS to those care services and bring the national policy advice and guidance. Uh, and within the CQC, uh, and as the chair of um, Health and Children, is a non executive director of the CQC. Um, what will they do is provide leadership, support, and advice to the local health watch network, which we'll talk about more in a second, uh, use evidence based on experience to highlight national issues and trends in order to improve national policy, and the overriding aim of health and is to ensure that the voices of people who use health and social care services are heard. So, very important. Uh, locally, um, so, so would every local authority then would be able to set up a local health watch, health watch, X, Y, Z, within where all that are going to be called Quirrell, and it's a community interest um, an independent organisation uh, to carry out the, the functions and responsibilities of health watch, some of which are laid down by statute and which are not converting to the best result. Um, if you do want to, to know more about legislation, I'm happy to try to those that start with you. Um, the key, uh, key powers, for want of a better word, are um, the ability to enter into state funded care premises with, with a large number of prescriptions, including children's care services are excluded, uh, and uh, non communal areas are also excluded from that as well. Uh, that's known as entering view visits, uh, and it's carried out by training and support program representatives of Health Watch. Uh, I'm partially responsible for the training program, and we've just completed the first time. So we've got a pool of all progress centers now ready and waiting to start uh, our answers and to use it. Um, we can refer um, issues into the uh, health and scrutiny health and scrutiny committee uh, and also the health and health and health and support. Um, it's an independent organization, as I said, employs staff uh, and involves volunteers. There is a requirement for lay involvement in health watch. Uh, and I've always wanted to be, uh, which is the public policy and I do, I know you most of you might have met, was our chair, she's reached out to her, is tenure, uh, and has realised that it's a very, very demanding job to volunteer, and we're looking to put up with some maybe even more time than I'm able to do that role. Uh, Help of Quirrell's work in partnership with Quirrell uh, Well, Quirrell uh, Well.org, which again, I know most of you have seen and uh, used. Uh, which is a directory website both by the Voluntary Conjunction World for signposting um, people to well-being services. Um, the role, just, just skip over to um, two slides, what will help the world do. Uh, the idea for help the world is to promote the local consumer voice, so to listen to what people tell us locally and feed that back to the definition of the providers and to the health and well-being board. Um, we been fairly successful in, in getting that started through outreach, through we're well, um, through speaking to all voluntary groups and through direct communication volunteers. We're placing all those issues in places like Health of Quirrell, uh, sorry, Health of England, um, and those statistics will be available to the as well on uh, what we look at when we start to search for that. Um, just as an aside, it's interesting to see that what people say anecdotally to us is quite different to what goes on around the table. It's what you might think are smaller issues, uh, but actually they're the ones that the potential of this um, impact on people who might uh, access to GP, access to the world sort of thing. Uh, all that information will become available. Um, the idea being to provide feedback based on the filing. Um, the evidence that's collected is anonymized. Uh, a lot of it's anecdotal, it's not the same hard data that you'll be used to using in a lot of, a lot of cases. Um, we do keep uh, the record to the said what's we've got accountability within the organisation, but that patient level or user level data will come back if it's disaggregated, so we look for trends. Uh, the three roles for local health watch are signposting, which as I say we're, we're, we're working with Will Well to, um, to achieve influencing, which is finding out people's opinions about their services. Feeding that back and complaint advocacy. Uh, complaint advocacy has been commissioned separately, that's not being undertaken by Health Watch Rural CIC. There is a uh, separate Health Watch Complaint Advocacy Service which covers Merseyside and um, we're getting in half a day only uh, complaint advocacy for the world. Um, what that means for, for Health Watch Rural as an organisation is if somebody comes to us with a complaint, we're looking to find them in the development organisation. We're not looking We gather the information evidence, provide that to the local health, um, health policy board, provide the information uh, service providers and then provide all to Health of England and our 
Jonas Cameron was the best performance in the last year. She, she was more involved there today. Uh, but I can to this one we've got is quite important in terms of the service providers, the numbers of um, yeah, uh, what's the example? Uh, we hear a lot of the moment about um, perception being really